I'm Cuddles and this is Carnage. No, hey, no! I'm Cuddles and you're Carnage. Sorry, start again. Do it. Okay. You gotta... uh, wait, but we're going to keep that taken. But people are... Okay, we need to clarify which one's the real one, okay? Who's yes. who, Ariel? I'm Cuddles. And I'm Carnage. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skill to find out who would win a death battle. <laughs> <laughs> How are we gonna introduce our friends? Like, what are we doing to other friends? Oh, they're um. Please say that every time. <laughs> just, just say that every time, please. Say the entire death battle intro. Yeah, every time. <laughs> so we have not done intros this entire time because neither of us really like intros when we're watching YouTube videos. But thanks to some commenters, we have learned the importance of having an intro because a lot of you guys don't know how to <laughs> refer to us. No one knows our names. No one knows our names. And that's our fault. That's not your guys' fault. Yeah. So I'm Ariel and this is Fidel. Yeah. So also we're going to be referring to... Oh. Also known as Cuddles and Carnage. Yeah. And we're probably going to be saying each other's names. Like, yeah. I'm going to call him Del for short because he's Fidel Jr. And I don't want to... It's kind of confusing when his dad's around. So, Del for short, and I'm Ariel, but we love the stage names Cuddles and Carnage, which was suggested by one of our uh, subscribers. We invented it entirely of our own. No one else gave us that idea. I'm going to put his comment Don't right. you dare! Move that off screen. It's entirely original. <laughs> we take all the credit. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you guys, officially. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Audience member. You were great. Was yes. It? He gave us the suggestion about the camera, and trust me, buddy, our cameraman is coming over today, and we're going to ask him how to do manual focus. So after that... filming this. After filming this, so and the I'm next, sorry. And the next episode, so the next two episodes. I'm are... so sorry. <laughs> Time is weird. Time is weird in a parasocial YouTube, you know? Yeah. Like, for us, it'll be two hours, but for them, it'll be, like, a few weeks. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think in another video I'll talk about how much you guys mean to us and how much we love this little like community that we've created because you guys are so sweet. Oh yeah, so a couple of you guys were asking if we had a Patreon and that is so sweet. We have been pushing it off until we have, you know, really good benefits for you guys like some episodes in the backlog for you to enjoy. But since so many of you have been asking for it, we decided to start one early and yeah, right now we only have a tier one. If you join, you can join our Discord and chat with uh, the people in our community as well as us. And in the future, our goal is once we reach a thousand subscribers, we're going to add a tier two where you can watch, where you can get early access on shows that we're reacting to. So we're thinking uh, shows like Attack on Titan, which is a show we're going to introduce to our friends. <laughs> we were putting this off, and then someone just donated $10. <laughs> yes! Oh my god, you're the sweetest! You, like, seriously made our uh, day, week, month, yeah. year, honestly. <laughs> and we were like, okay, maybe... Uh... <laughs> yeah. I was like, I didn't think... I don't know, like, this feels real now, you know? Yeah, Because we're yeah. so small, we're not even getting any AdSense from our videos because we don't have a thousand subs yet. So, it still kind of feels like a pipe dream to be able to make money off of YouTube. So for someone to donate is just so unbelievably encouraging and makes us want to work harder. So thank you so much. If we're able to somehow, because AdSense isn't, like... You know how it is. <laughs> you, you, it's not no, much. It's not much. And and even if it is much, it's not consistent. Mm -hmm. But like, if we do get a night, if we do, if, if a lot of you really do enjoy us and feel like supporting us on Patreon, it would go towards basically just us having more time to make more videos yes, and stuff. Yes, because me in particular, I'm the one who edits most of our videos, or I'm the one who edits all of our videos and Del does the nice fancy stuff. Because he has an amazing sense of humor. She does the real hard work. I just come in and <laughs> dick around with, from, with the <laughs> on the editing software. He does the fun minutes. stuff. And she I'm does so the happy. real work. <laughs> nah, stop. Um, but because I'm the one who's editing and I go to school and I have a part-time job. And I say part-time, but my hours are, or my shifts are like eight hours long, uh, three times a week. <laughs> 
and I get home tired, so sometimes it's it's difficult to have that energy to edit when my eyes and my brain are so fatigued. So yeah, if we make enough money, I could potentially quit my job and then start editing our videos full time and getting videos out faster for you guys. And yeah, it would just, it would mean so much. Yeah. Yeah. I feel so embarrassed. <laughs> it feels weird, right? Asking people for anything. <laughs> yeah, which is why it's so crazy that people have brought up Patreon and asked. Like, yeah. 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 yeah that's themselves. Like, what? It wasn't just that one donation. It's that a few people were like, hey, do you guys have Patreon? And I was like, okay, I guess if you guys actively want this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. when he donated money, I was like, but but he's my friend. Like, sh like <laughs> should I give him money back? Like, <laughs> like, it feels weird taking money yeah. from a friend. <laughs> but it's like, Ariel, have a business mindset. Like, you want to be able to do this long term. Yeah, I mean, shoot. It just seems good for everyone, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. so if you guys are interested, we do now have a Patreon, Tier 1. Um... If you want to join our Discord, and if, yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm embarrassed. Anyway, <laughs> love you guys. Man, this is wild. <laughs> <laughs> this doesn't feel real. This I does know. not feel real. It's like a dream come true. Yeah. And maybe that's funny coming from us when we only have like 600 subs or something, but. It, it especially feels not real because I don't, we're, we're recording this in hopes that we will have it set up by the time we release this Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know how vid video editing works. Like, but, but, we don't even have a Patreon right now, but we're <laughs> like, we'll set it up. Yeah, I, I hope I do. I'm before like... Before we post this. Yeah, I'm like, should I? <laughs> I don't know. Man, it's so embarrassing. Okay, all right. Anyway, anyway now that we're all anyways. flushed and red and shy, yeah. how about we... Let's do some anime. Yes. Oh. Okay, so Guys. we have not. I have not heard the full opening or watched the full opening music video yet. For Frieden. For Frieden. Opening one. Opening one. So this is Yosobi, and they did yeah. the same thing for Oshinoko. We have a reaction of that on our channel. But I don't know why I didn't think that they might do that again, where they have an original music yeah. video. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't think that would be connected to the artist. I thought that would be something that would be funded by the studio or something. Yeah, because Oshinoko went all out. They had a yeah. whole oh, movie yeah. that released earlier in Japan in actual theaters. Yeah. Like, Oshinoko was a big deal. Yeah. So I just didn't think they were going to do that Yeah. I mean, for this show. Freeman's big, but it's not, like, as, like... There wasn't as much marketing, I think, but it... Could. Oh, there... <laughs> Say that again. There wasn't as much marketing and stuff put into it as Oshinoko. Oshinoko was like really Yeah, oh, amazing. people were hyped because we read the manga and we were hyped because the manga of Oshinoko is so good. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just really excited to get into this. Oh, guys, 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 I've been... Sometimes I'm doubting myself when I ship Frieden and Himmel and my weird theories that Himmel had feelings for... Frieden, but I rewatched episode one, and after Himmel's funeral, there's a scene of Frieden sitting down holding a ring, the ring that's in the opening. You going? You going? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I don't think I'm crazy, guys. She was looking at a ring. I think Himmel gave her a ring. That's my theory, is based on the opening <laughs> and that one like little scene of her fiddling with a ring in episode one. Do not comment spoilers about don't, this. Don't, don't, don't. If you know spoilers, comment a little winky face and nothing else. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Um, so anyway, I'm so excited for this music video because I just saw that Himmel was in it. And call me basic, I don't care. Himmel's my favorite character, shut up. Okay, I'm ready. I think calling people basic is pretty basic. <laughs> I don't think our audience is the kind of people who would call someone I know, basic. you guys are so sweet. We like, I a, don't even have to worry about you guys. We have a kick-ass audience, dude. Y'all yeah. are, are <laughs> we great. We seriously like, love you guys. Yeah. I'm sorry I haven't been responding to comments as much recently. I've just gotten really busy with work and school. But I still read every single one of them. And we mm. like discuss what you guys say. <laughs> we in, do. <laughs> because you guys have such great insights about Japanese, <clears throat> about things in the show we missed, or, or things that we discuss. It's great. It's great. Much love. 
Seriously. Oh my god. It's it's so funny. We we really we really we really have tried to like respond to everything and after like recently it's just like wow there's just so many. I know. <laughs> like I can't. <laughs> yeah. And we're not even that big yet. Like no. imagine when we get big. I'm yeah. still gonna try to reply to you guys, even when we're big, okay? Mm -hmm. I will we'll try our darndest. Right now is my practice, you know. I'm gonna try <laughs> to reply to every comment. <laughs> Thanks. That way, when we're big, I can still do it. <clears throat> Let's do this! Hold on! Oh. Ariel, do you know who did opening two for Freeman? No. Can I tell you? Yeah. It's Yoroshika. Uh... They did a Moto Chanto Ite. <gasps> no way! Yes! 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 Dude, I've been a fan of them for so long, that, guys! That, that's not the only song from them she knows, by the way. Oh! I was just jogging her memory. She she knows more, she's actually a bigger fan of Yonashika than I am. I, uh, yeah. They also plagiarized one of my favorite bands, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just kidding, just kidding. Cut that out, cut no, that out. No, we're not cutting that. <laughs> they know what they did. <laughs> Uh, anyway. Art is interpretive. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's go on. This first opening is called Nusha, which means hero, I believe. And then I think I, were read I was reading some comments and they were saying that opening two, it doesn't say Himmel exactly, but I think in Japanese it can be translated to sky or heaven. Interesting. So if you put the two openings, please correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. This is just secondhand information. But apparently if you put the opening one and the opening two together, it's it ends up saying um, Hero Himmel. Like mm, interesting. Know? This right here says some. I, I, I believe I've one of someone said. Uh, that's that's Frieden no. That's that's the kanji for funeral. Uh, yes. No, Frieden. Yes. And then what is interesting? This says Hopuni Hopuni Sogu. Maybe that's beyond Demo. Journey's End. Hopuni Sogu Demo. But that's not like why is it Katakana? I'm learning, man. I'm trying. Okay, <laughs> someone help me out here. Yeah, someone. In the We're taking Japanese classes. Yeah, 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 We're doing yeah. our best. If you know what, if you if you understand what Mom, this is. Mom, why didn't you teach me Japanese when I was little? Dad, why didn't you teach me Spanish when I was little? <laughs> Wait, <goodness. laughs> All right, we've heard our trauma okay. out. <laughs> I'm Americans, my own. am I right? God, um, Americans. <laughs> <laughs> Immigrants, second generation. Yeah, don't want our. They don't want their kids. They, no, you're American. You learn English. Yeah. No, I want to learn my. I want to learn where I came from. I want to be like the Europeans who know like five languages. I want to be able to talk to my family, please. Like what the? Teach me your language. How am I gonna talk to my cousins in Japan? Yeah. Uh, Dude, uh, so I took Japanese lessons in high school. So when I met up with my Japanese cousin for the first time. She was, I think she was 10 years old at the time. She was so happy because we both were visiting the Philippines and no one else knew Japanese. Oh, that's so sweet. So just because I knew a little bit of Japanese, she was so relieved and opened up to me a lot and oh. would tell me all sorts of stories about how she's in the basketball club and like her friends. How much of it did you understand? At first, she was like, at first she was being slow and kind of breaking it down so I can understand yeah. it bit by bit but the more excited she got and the more we hung out the more she started speaking quickly <laughs> and i was like oh, please oh, continue to treat me like a child you could eat the good aside yeah i was like i can't understand you anymore <laughs> i wish i could so when we left I told her that I promised that I'm going to continue learning Japanese so we could talk more. And she said she was going to practice English. Uh, I know. Please and I haven't seen her since. So. bring me along when you go to Japan. See you again. Our goal is to go to Japan next year. Like, oh, if we yeah. save up for it, yeah. even if we don't get the free trip, our school is offering a free trip to Japan next year. Hmm. Since we're Japanese um, language students. But there's only 10 spots. So, yeah, so we gotta say though. Yeah, but they said even if we don't get one of the 10 spots that sends us to Japan for free, if we have the money, we can still join everyone on the trip. So, the goal is to save up just in case we don't get, yeah, <laughs> just in case we don't get a spot. We may dox ourselves by talking about this. I mean, we should cut that out. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. We lied about being from America, by the way. We're actually Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> 
from Toronto. We're in the Philippines right now. Yeah, that's why our videos come out at a weird time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it comes out on Filipino standard time. Yeah. Okay, let's. That's not, I don't think it's a time zone. Honestly, we're in Russia. <laughs> yeah, don't tell Putin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is why we don't talk politics. I got drafted. I'm trying not to, like, get foot caught. You yeah. Know? It's okay. Uh, Okay, this is going off the rails really fast. Let's watch the freaking thing! Dude, every time we like- We've been so, talking for 20 minutes. Our bits just go into like fucking like edgelord humor so easily. It's not- it does not take It's long. not okay. We're gonna get cancelled. We're gonna get cancelled. It's not- We're it's, trying really hard not to get cancelled. We try really fucking hard. I, I- It's not that we have any problematic opinions. It's that our sense of humor is dark and- That's pretty charitable. And we're very like open-minded people so we're willing to talk about any topic even even if it's something that's morally gray. So it could it could <laughs> lead to some bad things. I'm gonna be a little less charitable and say that our sense of humor is edgy and immature. <laughs> but I feel like my sense of humor has gotten less edgy and less I think so, but yeah, less like, dark. it still exists, you know? It's still there. You're keeping it alive. Cause I gave it to you and now I'm like fading out of it, but you still have it and I still No, you still of... say some things. There you still say some uh, some out of pocket shit. <laughs> not as bad as I used to be though. The like, point is Please acknowledge that I'm not as bad as I used to be. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. No, you, you definitely yeah. Thank you. My, I tried. <laughs> my point is I I I keep I try to keep it squeaky here because the whole thing about edgy humor is if everyone in the room is laughing it's all good. But on the internet, everyone is in the room. And so there will always be one guy who's not having it, you know? So I try and I try and keep it a little more... There's no way to san to fully sanitize, you know? But I try and we try and be a little more like... Because you still want to be yourself yeah. and be able to say your opinions yeah. without having to tiptoe around every single topic. Yeah. But like you brought up to me before, um, I love this analogy. It's that... When you talk to your, like the way you talk to your, your best friends mm -hmm. is different from how you talk to your parents mm -hmm. and different from how you talk to your classmates or mm -hmm. your teacher and, or the cashier at the grocery store. But when you're on the internet, everyone, the cashier, your parents, your teacher, your classmates, everyone can see what you say. So if you talk to the camera as though they're your best friend, <laughs> Who you're willing to say all the, yeah. like you have your inside jokes and you yeah. know your best friend isn't going to take it wrong because they yeah. know you. Yeah. That's not what it's like on the internet. These mm. people, they might not know you. They might not know that you, that you don't mean it in a certain way. So, yeah, it's just be careful what you say yeah. on the internet because it is a real place with real people. Mm. Even though it's easy to forget that sometimes. They go a little too far. No, you can never go too far when we're editing a video and it can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> Can let's we watch, watch the thing? Yeah, let's, okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. let's watch it. <laughs> ah, it's so pretty already. I love the bird. Oh, it's interesting to me that the bird was red. I wonder if that symbolizes something. I like those teeth, dude. These visuals are so cool. Yeah. Ooh. I love the tr that tree was cool. Oh my god, with the transition. Yeah. This is interesting. My so, characters. Ooh, I, I don't know why, but the black bars kind of do it for me. I don't. Yes. I might be. Notice how they're focusing on them. I'm. <laughs> when you're right, you're right. This is interesting. This is. Oh my god. <gasps> this animation. Yeah. These are all. This is like a lot of original like animations and drawings for this. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, I love this so shot. I other. love. I'm sorry. I got like. Wait, we should be watching this with lyrics. <laughs> okay, the second round. We'll watch it again <laughs> with the lyrics in a second. We're just talking about visuals here, dude. This is just visuals just vibes, right now. Just vibes. Like Freud, just Wait, vibes. Wait, can we go back? Yeah. Is that Frida? Oh, that has to be Frida because of the I think so, unless ears. it's like her family or something. And then it's Himmel on the bottom. Oh, then yeah, that was Freeman. She wears earrings, right? Yes, she does. Okay. She wears these red dangly earrings. Aww. That's Himmel's flower! Dude! What was that? Yo, Asobi, you have to stop doing these, like, choral epic breakdowns. I they know. are not good for my heart. Ah! No! I'm sorry, I had to turn the volume up because... 
The music's just so good. Oh, I'm always good with kids. Ah. I love that. The way it didn't, like faded out and then back in. Yes. It's kind of like <gasps> the jellyfish. Mm. Ooh. What was that mushroom? This part is so good. God, I'm just like these visuals, man. I'm eating oh, it up. Some other characters. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> My shipper whoa, brain whoa, whoa, is whoa, like whoa, freaking whoa, whoa, out whoa. right now. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> what? Uh, whoa, wait, 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 wait. You saw that too, right? <laughs> was that them doing like the thing from like Golden Days? That was the Golden Days thing. That was the. Oh. My boyfriend! <laughs> you! Ah, <laughs> oh, the animation on that. The ring! Oh. What is that? Yeah. Damn. I don't know why, but just seeing her so happy and content, like, makes me cry. Because she has so many regrets. Just taking everything in my being not to scream and just like hit the table. <laughs> so good. Punch the table, Ariel. No, I can't. I can't. I already. I already kept it all inside. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. That was so good. No. I love that this opening focused a lot on our original characters, like Stark and Fern weren't in it at they all. They did not show up once, I think, actually. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of the Oshinoko. Oh, they showed up once when they were panning through, but there was an ensemble shot. Right. right but that was doesn't count. Yeah, it was so small compared mm. to how much our other characters were focused on. Mm. And I really feel like this music video was very much a Frieda and Himmel yeah. music video. Yeah, and absolutely. their connection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved her blowing the kiss and him. And him going just like fainting. Yeah, 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 oh my yeah, god, yeah. that's so cute. Okay, that, side... that confirmed it. I'm sorry, guys. I've never seen that side of Free Run before. Yeah. Yeah. Because we didn't get to see their journey. This... We really don't know what kind of relationship they had. We've only seen like little snippets of flashbacks of her memories. But we still don't have the big picture yet. I need a prologue. Like, I... <laughs> I really just want to watch their entire journey from like beginning to end. We need to listen to those lyrics. Yes, we do also, have I need to... to get off this page because this is exposing my taste in music and I am not here for it. <laughs> I can I can blur that out for you. They're auto generated, there's no actual subtitles for this. Ooh. Wait, what? Didn't we see the lyrics for the didn't we watch the lyrics when we were watching the episode though? Yeah, but you know. Oh, the whole it, it's verse. only ha yeah, that's only like the first verse. This is why we need to study up on our Japanese so that we can actually understand songs. Songs are one of the hardest things to understand because it's very poetic, flowery language that you don't really use in everyday conversation. Yeah. So, you know we've made it. You know we've learned enough of Japanese. If we if... can understand song lyrics. Yeah. I can't understand English song lyrics. True. Because oh. it is very poetic. Okay, so now we're just going to be, this is just the lyrics. Is that okay with you? Yeah. I love that it's literally just Fern and Himmel sitting yeah. next to each other. Oh, I'm already crying. <laughs> There's Wait. a section cut out. I love how it's just explaining the pot plot side. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it. This part is so good! The story is over. Aww. Yeah, that's really yes. This fits the show so yeah, well. Yeah, this is just a summary. Oh. <laughs> yes. I 
That's definitely how I felt watching the first episode was Kuriren and Hyder carrying Himmel's torch mm. after he passed. Aww. Jesus. I want them to meet again so bad. Yeah. Let heaven be real, please. <laughs> Yes. Oh. <laughs> that, that's why I was showing Himmel during this part in the music video because it was literally mm. the lyrics were about him. Oh. Usobi makes such a great duo because I think the writer is just so talented, yeah. and you can tell he cares about the shows. Yeah. He probably like watches them or no, not watches. Of course, it's before the anime came out, but like reads the source material yeah. to get an understanding. Yeah, I think um, he has a really good job of that thing that you love, the like happy song, happy sound with sad lyrics. Yes, I don't know why, but I just love that contrast, that dichotomy. Oh, yes, let's go, Freeden. I love how the songs like show Aww. her character development. Yeah. <laughs> uh... Man, it just keeps going. Oh. It's so beautiful. I don't know. There's something about her talking about the land. Like being in the land that he protected mm. and enjoying yeah. life there. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Um, I feel like I have less to say after a while. Because <laughs> the first one, I was like, I could say some stuff about the visuals. But after those lyrics, I'm like, I need some, I need to lay in bed <laughs> with some hot cocoa. <laughs> Oh, man. Like, there were some crazy creatures in the music video. Like, that one with the... Yeah. Almost, like, the looked like a like... dog with, yeah. like, big eyes. And I think it was, like, almost rainbow color in the way it was drawn. And those, they were all, like, um... This might be a little surface level, but they were all, like, uh, drawn... None of them were shown directly. They were all almost like artistic renditions of them. Yes. Sort of implying that these were like monsters from the past. Yes. So, like like this is what like monsters of legend and what like they imagined them to look like. Yes, yeah. exactly. I love how do you remember we were kind of making fun of how the dragon looked? The mm. one that Stark defeated. Yeah. But it's not that they don't have cool creature designs. Because in that next episode, when they show the creature that Aizen had to fight up against and defeat, it was like this beautiful creature with white, yeah. on all fours with yeah. long white hair. Yeah. I think they, they probably did that almost on purpose hmm. to show that the creatures that our heroes fought mm. 80 years ago were much stronger because the right. world was a less safe place. Yeah. Like filled with these like dangerous creatures. And now what we're left with are kind of, you know, more standard yeah. fantasy creatures. Like, yeah. like these dragons. That weren't really dangerous enough to have to go out of your way to defeat or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. But they had to go out of their way to defeat the demon lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I love how they play with that. With that history. I think it's really interesting. And how we perceive that history. I think this is one of those things that um, it's like... It works for it. It works well with what it is, but I wouldn't be complaining if they used a cooler monster design instead of a red dragon. <laughs> yeah, I agree. And it's not that the dragon looked bad; it was yeah, yeah, animated yeah. beautifully. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And dragons are just classic, gorgeous creatures. Like favorite fantasy creature of all time. Like for me personally, you just can't beat a dragon. But <laughs> it's kind of just the best. I think it was just the saturation of the red. <laughs> to yeah, them. yeah, it was just like, yeah. Because all the visuals of Frieden before that point were very watercolor, soft. Even the the demons, like the demon who invented Zoltrak. Right. He kind of had this watercolor purple-gray 
tones about him. Meanwhile, we meet this dragon and he's just like bright red, like in your face. And it was fun though to see our boy Stark with his fiery red hair defeat this just yeah saturated red. It was kind of cool, the kind of red on red kind of thing. Yeah, I did kind of I did enjoy that. Almost like you could argue that it's like a mirror of himself in some way. I don't know. I, I think harder about that. Ooh, I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure you could draw. You could you could make something. You could make something work there, right? Like the yeah. Like he and the dragon both defensively, like not willing to engage with the other, and like mm-hmm. effectively both cowardly. And he was the one who overcame his cowardice first, so he won. Yes. Yeah. I love that. Ooh, I like that interpretation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool opening though. Yeah. As someone who uh, low key high key <laughs> ships uh, Frida and Hemel, it's not low key. It's not low key. I'm sorry. I was mm, I was eating this up. That was like thank you for for fueling my my shipper heart. <sighs> I just it is confirmed. Like there's no doubt that Hemel had feelings for Frida. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And at this point, it's and like based on this obvious. music video, I think Frida also has feelings. For Himmel, but she realized it too late. Yeah. yeah. And even if she did know back then, I don't know if she knew what to do with those feelings. Yeah. She is acutely aware of how short human lives are compared to her own lifespan. And it seems like she didn't originally want to get attached. Like, she didn't want to have any human apprenticeship. Yeah. Any human apprentices. <laughs> that yeah. took me way too long to say. Yeah. She didn't realize how valuable like her time with them was until like it took him all dying for her to have it's like a really tragic thing that like she would never have you know yeah. even she could it's not like she can go back in time and meet with him yeah because she wouldn't have understood it if he didn't die yes yeah, exactly really it thing. took because the no. thing is is that Frieden has changed so much since him all died she smiles more, she mm-hmm. expresses herself more, she shows care towards Fern and Stark. Especially Fern. Her relationship with her is just so rock solid. And the thing is, is that I don't think she would have been able to create those bonds. Even with Fern. If Himmel, if she didn't meet Himmel. And if Himmel didn't die and just completely change how she sees the world. So I was thinking, do you remember that ball she was hugging? At the yeah. end of the music video. Yeah. I wonder if that symbolizes meaning, like a joy for life. Because mm. I think when we saw her traveling the world... You're right, I'm thinking too literally. Yeah. When, when I saw her, when she was traveling the world in episode one, she was seeing all these beautiful things. And I'm sure she was having a good time. But she never once smiled. And I think... <clears throat> It's perfectly demonstrated in the episode when she went, she got up early to see the sun rise because she didn't go with Himmel and her friends originally. So she went with Fern and she saw the sunrise and she was like, well, it's kind of just a sunrise. It's nothing special. But then she sees how Fern is reacting to it. Yeah. And then she smiles and starts enjoying herself because of Fern's company. And I think that's what Himmel taught her. And you can yeah. see that in that flashback when Himmel was like, I know you. next time you should see the sunrise because I know you would enjoy it. I think he understood that. That if she... That she's the kind of person that would enjoy things more with others. But she didn't know that about herself. Or maybe she wasn't even yeah. willing to do that because she didn't want to get attached to creatures that would die so quickly. Yeah. Whatever the case may be, I think, like, Himmel saw right through her, and she understands that now. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's what that ball symbolizes, and why she looks so happy and content. Ah, oh, that last image just... Because that's what I want for her! It's so painful. I don't know, it feels like, um... I think because she's asleep, I wonder if it, if, if there's some sort of, like, escapism. Oh, no, don't tell me it's like a dream, yeah. Yeah, right? That's what makes me... That's, that's what, like, a yeah. total valid, it totally feels a like valid interpretation. It, it has that feeling of right when you just woke up from a dream, you know? And yeah. that makes me sad. I don't like... I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to think that, but that's what... That's a feeling that I think about a lot because I sometimes wish I could just stay asleep and just be in that feeling. <laughs> yes. So... I, I totally yeah. get you. But here, I... I 
I think the lyrics make me think otherwise. I thought I turned off the... I just want to say, oh, you're muting on purpose? Okay. Yes, I'm muting on purpose. I just want to say, uh, uh, I love that the names are kind of weird, like Himmel. That's like a weird name that you wouldn't hear. Apparently like it's German for sky and heaven. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So kind of cool that they chose like very like... European names? Yeah, European names, yeah. German yeah. names. I think... Okay, maybe I'm just like an Ameri brainwashed American. Like, Are people named Himmel still, or is that just like... Is that not something that people are named? Right, because... I love it feels ancient and foreign, and I mean, it's just the, you know, me just not understanding the culture that it comes from. Yeah. yeah. So, I love the name CL. Yeah. I get what you mean, because I love the name CL from Black Butler, and I knew that it meant sky in French. Mm. But, so I was always waiting to meet someone named CL, because I'm like, wow, that's such a beautiful name. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> Like, I've heard of French actors, artists, mm. f French characters in TV shows. Never have I seen Never. one named CL. So, yeah, I don't know how common the name CL is, but it's yeah. not common enough that I've heard it outside of Black Butler, which is a Japanese manga. If any of you are German, I don't think any of you are. <laughs> hey! Statistically... Probably very few of you, if any, are. But Most of our viewers are Japanese. Which is crazy to <laughs> Love me. Love you guys. My people. You guys Woo. watch our, like, we're Americans. You guys, I don't know. That's like. You got, your English is so good if you can, like, because we don't have Japanese subtitles. So that's, that's awesome. Yeah. To be fair, I also watch Japanese videos without subtitles and just, like, peace Really? Yeah. That's a little funny. bit of what they say and I read their facial expressions. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, well, we love you guys. If any of you are, if any of you are German and have met someone named Himmel, let us know. What I was going to say, though, you were talking about how you think it might be her in a dream. Yeah. What makes me think that that might not be the case and it really is her finding meaning in life is because there are lyrics like the ordinary time is also dazzling yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Even now when looking back, there is always a gentle smile. Okay, that could be what you were interpreting. See, uh, the beginning of the new journey yeah, yeah, in this yeah. land that you have protected. Yeah. <sighs> that line destroys me. Together with budding life. Yeah. And I think that's what she was holding. So it's sort of both, right? It's the memories that she's carrying forward. Yes. Like a dream. And it's because she has those memories that she can appreciate the life in front of her. Yeah. That's why she has meaning now. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, it's both. Yeah, together. yeah, it's sort of yeah. a little bit of both, right? That's why yeah. she's sleeping. It makes sense yeah. now. Yeah. Mm. Let's go. I think we cracked, guys. Also, there's just there's just some. This is like just technical, kind of so to speak. But like, I don't even know if it's technical. It's just like surf, like monkey brain observations. But I love like the like whenever you also be whenever the whenever the singer singer goes like fast. Yes. There's a certain rhythm to it, like da 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 that just. Mm. I know it's so good. I love it. I love that about Japanese music. She does exactly want to like slow down and then just. It's such a great rhythm that's not common in English music. Yeah, yeah, it's really it's specific to their language. It really is because it's because that like yeah English has like accented syllable. Okay. I love the chanting. They they still have the chanting. Oh, this part's so good. This is my favorite part. One thing that Japanese has that English doesn't. One thing that English has that Japanese doesn't is what I meant to say. Finally, I have something to talk about. So, one thing that English says has that Japanese doesn't is the um is the accented syllables. And Japanese has accented syllables. You know, you'd be like tomodachi. You know, mm -hmm. tomodachi. Or maybe it's not that. But the point is there's there's two tones in Japanese. You use a low one and a high one. Certain words use the high some words have like a high emphasis in certain syllables. But it's very flat. Japanese is very like the word furato this. That's only two. Furato. There's only two tones there. But in English, like, you kinda do like a lot of going up and down with words. Like yeah. basketball. Basketball. That's like three basketball. tones. Basketball. Yeah, you're See? right, basketball. Basketball. Like there is an emphasis <laughs> syllable. <laughs> In both these languages. But in English, you kind of go, wee! You know? <laughs> like, we don't know how Japanese is like, doop, doop. Yeah, yeah. Doop. Japanese is very, very, like, flat. Doop. And and also, but more importantly than this. Oh, you moved me. Sorry, I'm getting excited. <laughs> more importantly is that in Japanese, syllables aren't held for time. 
rather every syllable takes up an equal amount of time. Basuke. Yes. Uh, basuke. Basuke. Yeah. Basuke. Yeah. Basuke. In I Eng love it. It's so rhythmic and beautiful. That's why Japanese is my favorite language. It just sounds amazing. But English has a much more like a swing rhythm, you know? Basketball, you know? Basketball. Mm -hmm. uh, basketball. Like, it's a little similar, but it's like the bass is like hell, you know? You know? Mm -hmm. Like, and like salmon, you know? Salmon, you know? Salmon. Yeah, salmon. Yeah, in Japanese, salmon. Or, I don't water know. bottle. Yeah. Water bottle, yeah. Water bottle. Yeah, w yeah, water bottle, you know? Water bottle. <laughs> it just sounds like all over yeah, the place. Yeah, yeah. Water bottle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, there's bottle, variance. Bottle. Even if it's a little bit, there's a little bit of variance in, like, the time that syllables are held for. None of that in Japanese. You hold every syllable for the exact same amount of time. And because of that, when you sing, when people sing in Japanese, the tempo is a lot more regular. And so when they sing fast, you get a lot of that, like... Da, 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 that yes. has this nice little like tic tac tic tac tic tac to it. It's that rhythm, yes. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. the drums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Japanese has a like very constant rhythm. Yes. It's every every and and it's very like the like if I would say like tanoshikata, right? Now it sounds like there's a syllable being held extra longer, tanoshikata, but it's not really. It's that that skip that little cut. That's that's its own syllable, tanoshikata, tanoshikata. Yeah. Tanoshikata. I can't clap that fast. Tanoshikata. Tanoshikatta. 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 You know what I'm saying? There's that little kawaii, you know? Like, every held things are actually just two syllables. Yes. So, you'll hear that get played around with a lot in songs. Um, there's a song I heard recently in Japanese. It's that, like, Chisai no Restaurant song. Oh! Where they, uh... Oh, yeah. I can't remember how they say it, but... It's hard. Because it's so unintuitive. There it is. It's so unintuitive to an American tongue. Because they emphasize the N as its own syllable. Because N is its own syllable. Every letter is a syllable in Japanese. Yes. That's not how we do it here in America. And so it creates... And so that's... Yeah. Just, just I don't know, It's not much... But I'm kind of a little more detail on why there's like a different rhythm. And I, yeah. I, it tickles my brain in a way that I just, I like it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was awesome. I'm probably going to rewatch that music video again just to, you know. Just for shipper brain? Just for shipper brain. My, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really want to soak in all the Frieden and Himmel moments because we don't have enough in our current timeline because he has sadly passed. Dude, I knew him for one episode. Explain to me why he's my favorite character. Uh, Freerin feels the same way. <laughs> Free Dull. <laughs> they did this on purpose they so we'd understand how Freerin feels. Mm -hmm. And if you don't relate with Freerin, if you don't think Himmel's the best character in the show, then you're just not Freerin. You're like Aizen or something. <laughs> yes. Which is, there's nothing wrong. You are a lovely person. I'm just saying that I relate to Freeran. <laughs> well, guys, we better watch some actual Freeran. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for Th watching. Thank you for watching. We have been Cuddles and Carnage. Oroa Carnage. Atachi wa Karuze desu. How do you even say it? That's hard. I'm sure we're butchering it. I'm sure we're butchering. How do you guys? How do you say cuddles and katakana? Please let me. Know. I don't even know how to say carnage and katakana. I'm making it up. I'm guesstimating. I'm probably, I'm probably wrong. It's probably some Japanese guy watching this. Like, oh my god. I know. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> probably a lot of Japanese we appreciate, people watching this. Like, oh my god. We love your language and your culture. You guys are cool. I like that n is a letter, but na is also a the letter. The Japanese language is just. So fun to learn. I just love the skips. Kata. I like that Kata. she is a smiley face. Yeah, it's so cute. Ah, uh, I love writing in hiragana, katakana. Kanji hurts my hand a little bit, but like some kanji is really cool. Like I love uta. Oh, boku is the best kanji. I will die on this hill, dude. <laughs> boku is so much fun. Chu 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 chu. Oh, it's backwards. I like yasumi. Chu 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 chu. I like Yasumi because it's a person uh, resting under a tree, and I also like uh, Omou to to think or your opinion. 
because it's a window to the heart. That one just looks nice. It's so pretty. It's like a window, and then it's the kanji for hearts underneath. Right. So it's like window into the heart, your opinion, your thoughts. Mm. This is how I get to know what's inside. Anyway. Kanji's sick ass. Kanji's kanji sick. is cool. Look, all right. I know people, uh, people learning kanji. I know people, like, if you're afraid of learning kanji, it's like, oh, oh no. Kanji is hard. Kanji is unnecessary. In theory, you're right. But you're not accounting for the fact that kanji is sick as hell. And that's really what matters here. Um, There's a reason we put it on our t-shirts even though we don't know what it means. Because it objectively looks cool. And it's you know so that. It's so cool looking, guys. There's a reason why in our thumbnails we use the Japanese icons and not the English ones. Because they just look cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Keep using kanji. It looks cool. Like, would you take kanji over the letter A? The letter A looks lame. Like, don't it's even... It's like a loopy. Then you have the letter net, and it's like 17 loopies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm thinking of, uh... I'm thinking of, uh... New, actually. New is like 17 loopies. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> bye! Anyway, bye! Read kanji, bye! I feel like I do the... The punch one too often. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. Oh my god. No, I don't. Brown. Because I. Because yeah. you are brown? And yeah, because I'm arm brown. I am brown. <gasps> and I'm yellow! Yeah! <laughs> because I am yellow! And I'm brown and I'm wearing brown. Wait, is this why SpongeBob's the most relatable character? <laughs> <laughs> um, I also have holes. This is the first time we. I'm not gonna show you my holes, but trust me, I have holes. This is the first time that we've started OBS after the camera. This is not the first time. It's gotta be the first time in a while. For the first time in forever. I hate that song.